All right, Pat Ferentz here from Lisbon Central School because you've got a big vote coming up uh, today um, in, in Lisbon. W what is it about? Hi, good morning, Dave. Uh, we got a school bus garage, a school bus maintenance facility vote from 1 to 9 today in the main lobby of the Lisbon Central School building. Uh, we are trying to construct a garage to take care of our bus fleet that we recently started in the last three years. Uh, we moved from a third-party contractor to doing it ourselves. So mm -hmm. it's important that we're taking care of our buses, making sure they're stored. Okay. Um, where's the vote happening at today? It's going to be at Lisbon Central School, right in the main uh, lobby of the school from 1 to 9. Okay. And, and who can vote for this? Anyone that is a resident for 30 days in the Lisbon Central School District and that is 18 years old. Okay. And, and as far as um, paying for it goes, how's that going to work? So there's uh, three funding sources. Uh, local taxpayers will mm -hmm. have a piece of that. Uh, the school district provides some funding from some of our reserves and some of our savings from transferring from a third party to in-house operation. And also state aid. We get 80% state aid on this project. And, and where, where will this garage go? Uh, the maintenance facility garage will go out back mm -hmm. um, near, our, near our soccer field and on the back side of the current existing parking lot. Okay. Um, now, now, as far as taxes go, for the taxpayers... How much of an increase will there be for them? So if there was no star exemption uh, per thousand, you'd see 89 cents mm -hmm. uh, per thousand. But with star exemption, it'd be less than that as well. So um, that, that is important to point out. And it is important that we recognize that. Okay. And how, how many buses do you currently have? We have a fleet of 13. We have a Suburban and 12 buses. Um, but they all need space to be stored and be taken care of and maintained. And, and, and right now they're stored where? Outside, uh, right. we, we run extension cords to them to keep them warm enough in the winter to start. Um, but with electric vehicles on on the horizon, mm -hmm. uh, to be clear, Lisbon Central School is not promoting electric vehicles in any way. But SED State Ed is saying that we must start converting our combustible fleet to electric vehicles. So it's important that we have a facility mm -hmm. to be able to take care of them. So okay. uh, storing them outside isn't a solution. No, no, especially here in the winter time. Absolutely. Yeah, that 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 causes delays and everything else because you have to warm the buses up right exactly yeah um at one to nine at lisbon central school today yep you got it where where in the school do you go uh so you just pull in right into the front area of the parking lot okay into the visitor section we'll have some areas um coned off for people to come in uh right in the main entrance you just come in there'll be people there to greet you and the voting machines are right there in the main lobby okay and there'll be signs and everything else yep okay yeah it's gonna be uh easy to find for anybody Okay, big vote in Lisbon today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming in, Pat. Yeah, I appreciate it, Dave.